We're not even past January and we already have some album of the year contenders. Hey everyone, it's Michael. Welcome to the channel. Let's talk about Neck Deep's new album. This is the band's fifth album. The band has been around since 2012, coming out a part of that 2010s pop punk revival. And if you listen to some of their earlier stuff, like the Rain in July EP, they played pop punk for sure, but I always felt it was a little bit more aggressive and just a bit more intense than what the other bands were doing at the time. What really put the band on the map was their song, A Part of Me. I remember when that song came out, and I cannot express it to you enough how quickly that song took over the scene. If you were single, if you were going through a breakup, even if you were in a strong and healthy relationship, you listened to that song over and over again. And ever since, Neck Deep has been a constant in the scene. Life's not out to get you, shut down any haters that the band had because it was and still is one of the best pop punk albums from the 2010s. And ever since, Neck Deep has remained a steady constant that has put out quality pop punk. The new album is a self-titled album and it really stood out to me that we're at album number five here and we are just now getting a self-titled album. Usually the self-titled is like album number two or album number three because what a self-titled album means and what that's telling the audience is, hey, this sound that's on this album is how we internally view ourselves. If you listen to a band's self-titled album, you should be hearing their best stuff and the sound that the band thinks is their defining sound. One thing I wanted to point out is that this album came out on January 19th, 2024. The first song we got from the album was Heartbreak of the Century on February 15th, 2023. That is almost a full year. I know that we get more songs and uh, more songs get released kind of separately as singles because of the way streaming works and everything, but that was a full year, almost a full year ago. First things first, this is a pop punk album. We have 10 songs. They're all catchy, fast pop punk songs. There is not one slow acoustic ballad on the album. Now that might disappoint some people, but when you have a part of me, December, wish you were here, if the band didn't think any acoustic song or a slow ballad song that they wrote could compare or could top those other songs, then yeah, I totally agree. Don't put it on the album. From the first guitar riff on Dumbstruck, you immediately understand what the vibe is for this album. Sort Yourself Out is one of my favorite songs on the album. Fast, catchy, pop punk. That chorus has been stuck in my head for days. What more could you want? I really like We Need More Bricks. I like the lyrics for that one. A symptom of the state, a consequence of madness, an overwhelming sense of an underlying sadness. The rain and the parade will only soak the ballots. The kids are wide awake and they rage against the palace. We need more fight. We need more grit. We need more punks. And we need more bricks. This isn't the first time that Neck Deep has discussed politics in their music or just, you know, large uh, social issues, uh, anything that's not really just a breakup song. Uh, a song like Happy Judgment Day stands out to me. We Need More Bricks almost kind of works, if you look at the lyrics from both songs, almost kind of works as a sequel to Happy Judgment Day. I love when bands that aren't necessarily political bands talk about more important issues in their music. This is punk rock after all. Not everything has to be a 15 long page dissertation on capitalism or a propaganda song. Sometimes a simple don't trust the government kids works. Heartbreak of the Century, the song that we've had for almost a full year, uh, is great. It is straight out of the Life's Not Out to Get You playbook. If you told me that song was some lost song from 2015, I'd believe you. I love the sweeping chorus on Go Outside, one of my favorite songs on the album. Take Me With You is a song about aliens, because sometimes you just need a song about aliens. I don't know what it is about pop punk and aliens. We have this Neck Deep song, Blink-182, of course. And if you want a deep cut, the Lillingtons wrote, I Got Abducted by a UFO in 1996. They Might Not Mean To is a song about your relationship with your parents. Another topic that is in a lot of pop punk and punk rock songs. Although this Neck Deep song is just a little bit more complex than the Descendants song, Parents. It Won't Be Like This Forever is one of my favorites on the album. I'm always a sucker for a song that's about, you know, bad times don't last forever. I've been coming back to this song a lot. The album ends with Moody Weirdo, which as far as song titles go for a pop punk song, it's pretty great. 
Nick Deep's album takes everything that pop punk is known for and reshapes it and evolves it into a 2024 version. My only problem with the album is that it was released in January. I don't know how the weather is where you are, but here in the Midwest, it's cold, rainy, snowy, uh, it's freezing, uh, it gets dark at about 4 p.m. Uh, this is an album that I want to listen to during spring or summer, not in the middle of January. This is the sound of pop punk that people love. This is the sound that people are nostalgic for. If you're even just a casual fan of pop punk since like 2012, every year you could just kind of go, you know what, I want to listen to some pop punk. Let me see what Neck Deep are up to. As someone who liked One More Time, I think we've seen that that album really hasn't had that much staying power. I don't see a lot of people in the mainstream talking about it. I don't see a lot of people in the alternative uh, music scene talking about it. I think a lot of people just wanted pop punk song after pop punk song, and you get that on Neck Deep's new album and more. Let me know what you thought about the new album from Neck Deep in the comments. Please like and share the video. Subscribe if you haven't. Tell all your friends, and thanks for watching.